What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so it's finally time. Yes, enough stalling, enough uh, side quests and all that stuff. Uh, I tried that Shoal Cave thing, still won't go to drive mode, so we're just going to move on right here. Yes, we are going to go to the underground, uh, underwater path or layer or whatever. Yeah, it's finally time to go thwart some plans for Team Aqua, and... Who I'm bringing along right now, I am bringing Hydra number three with the team because he's the only one that knows surf and all that fun stuff. So here we go. Let's run and let's just do this. Seriously, let's just do this. So as you guys already know, I already went through all these uh, these routes right here, but I did not fully go like underwater and all that stuff. What I need to do right now is just, I just need to put on some max repel. I don't need to get messed on with any of these Pokemon right here. And we need to find that underwater path that, you know, will actually take us to the under underwater uh, layer right here. Um, if you guys remember, we actually thwarted Team Magma's uh, plans a while back. We saw Groudon. Now it is time for us to actually see Kyogre right here. And if you guys don't remember, uh, Team Aqua actually stole the submarine from, what, well, what was his name? Captain Stern, yeah, a while back. And uh, that actually led to us going into Moss Deep City. Now, as you can see, we are all the way in like Route 127 to Route 128 right here. We nearly went into, what was it, Slate or no, Sutopolis City. We actually had the opportunity to do that, but we didn't take that opportunity. As you can see, here is the underwater path or the underwater place that we're going to be actually going into. And there it is. Look at that. The Submarine Explorer 1 is painted on the, on the hole. This is a submarine Team Aqua stole in, in Slateport. Team Aqua must have gone ashore here. Alrighty. Maximum effort. It is time to do some legendary stuff right here. That is right. The Seafloor Cavern. Now, what have I been saying for quite some time? Yeah, whatever. Now, what you need right here is a bunch of repels. Pokemon to nose dive, surf. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yes, and strength. Don't forget the strength technique because there are some stones. Oh, yeah, and rock smash. Thankfully, I have what? All of them. Yeah, I have all of that. Um, I wanted to replace Raphael, but I actually had it. I actually had a feeling that Raphael was needed in this one right here. So, moving along right here. Shroom Lee's moving his thing right here. And then, why am I not moving? Pushing this boulder right here. And yes, as you probably already know, we're going to be battling a buttload of uh, Team Aqua members. So I'm going to start off with Raphael. You know, it's been a while. I miss that dude. So there it is. He's like, we don't need a kid around. Go on home and already. Alrighty. So here we go. Bring it on, Team Aqua. And as you can see, the Team Aqua Grunt wants to battle us with a typical Poochiana. And yes, Raphael. My good old Torkoal right here. Let's go with the Flamethrower. He is faster than that Poochiana for some strange reason. By like a hair or something. By like a hair of his teeny chin chin. And uh, look at that. <laughs> I want to go home. Okay, then go home. Now, some of these battles might be a little boring to you guys. Because, yes, there's a lot of Team Aqua members. They're, yeah, and they're only going to be using Poochianas and Zubas and whatnot. Th that submarine is tiny inside. I'm sore all over. Okay. Alrighty, whatever you say, homeboy. So here it is, another Team Aqua, or, yeah, Team Aqua Grunt, he wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Carvana, looking all menacing and whatnot. But here we go, Raphael, looking like Raphael from the Ninja Turtles, and I'm gonna go body slam this guy. But unfortunately, that Carvana is a little faster than us, so we're gonna have to wait a while, but here's that body slam, and uh, yeah, critical hit. We take a little bit of damage right here, but it's okay, you know what? The rough skin, it, it is what it is. But look at that, Raphael grows a little 41. And that's another Team Aqua member, just whatever. Now, like in the magma layer, right here in the underwater layer, whatever it's called, um, yeah, there's going to be multiple e entrances and exits. So you're going to have to find your way around. You're going to be battling a lot of people. Um, I'm going to go right here first. And as you can see, yeah, we're going to be... Uh, we're gonna be taking like uh, good, we're gonna be doing a lot of puzzles right here, and uh, let's see, huh? Okay, so I have to go to this one, and I have to put on a repel first. As you can see, this is not giving us much options right now, so I'm just gonna press this one right here, and uh, we're gonna be moving along right now. So Shroom Lee, let's get this going right here. Look at that, and uh, I'm gonna do that. 
because I have a feeling that there's a boulder right here, a smashable boulder right here to block this boulder for a very good reason, and it is because of this. Usually it takes us a while to get around, so what we're going to do is we're going to surf, and as you can see, those tides, we encountered them before when we were at Pacific Lock Town. It actually takes us to a lot of places. As you can see, it, yeah, we're going the wrong route. So we're going to have to do this again. So Swamp Lord, let's get this going right here, and... Uh, I'm totally winging this right now, so I'm gonna go right here, and of course it takes us back right here. So let's go and uh, do this again. Right here, and right here, right here, right here. I'm totally winging this right now, guys. And uh, yeah, that takes us all the way back, so going back all the way right here. That will take us down there, so we don't wanna go down there. We probably have to take this one right here. No, I'm doing the same thing all over again. Let's see, some of you guys are probably like saying, Oh my god, Draven, you are stupid. And, oh god, okay, so that did not take us anywhere but right here. So as you can see, we're in another layer now. If you go into this one right here, you're going to be seeing a, a little bit more of the seafloor cavern. And I'm not going to go there because uh, there's nothing important right there, I think. And uh, there's a double battle waiting for us. And, uh, well... Yeah, I got the right Pokemon for this one. Noob Cybot! And what was it? Oh yeah, Raphael. So here we go. How did you manage to get here without a submarine? What an impressive child! But I won't have to do, or I won't do, it won't do to have you meddling around here. Wow, I can't even read again. Wow. I'm not even going to read the whole thing. But yes, these guys are trying to make a, a, a paradise with all water and stuff. But yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that ends up right there. So as you can see, we're taking on both Team Aqua Admin Shelly and the typical Grunt right here. So yeah, she's coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here. All right, let's see how it is. Noob Cybot and Raphael. Yeah, we're looking pretty awesome right here. So one of my Pokemon will not be losing any kind of a thing, or any kind of attack because of that white smoke. But I'm going to be using this. So here's a crunch attack on Raphael. And uh, there's a Thunderbolt. Deal that out. That's right, Sharpedo. You're not going to survive. You will not survive. You shall not enter this place. But as you can see, Sharpedo getting butt, getting his butt kicked. And new Cybot growing to level 41. And it's learning Future Sight. And I actually don't have any kind of uh, use for Future Sight. It's not really... Well, it is a powerful attack, but it's not necessarily a psychic type attack. If you guys know what I mean, it's one of like it's one of those attacks that it says it's this attack, but really, or this type of attack, but really it's not. So uh, there's another intimidate, and it's not doing anything. And wow, they're lowering the stats on my new Cybot right here. Why are you guys picking on new Cybot? So here we go, flamethrower attack. Flame throw attack does the job. That's right. That mighty Anna had no chance whatsoever. And uh, alrighty, so there is a Zubat. So let's go with another Thunderbolt right here, and uh, let's finish these guys off. So now they're trying to attack Noob Cybot. And uh, oh crud, Raphael is almost—he's on his last limb right here. So here we go with the Thunderbolt attack on Golbat. That's right. Golbat eliminated. That's right, Golbat. You had no chance whatsoever. And uh, Raphael, here we go with the flamethrower attack. Hopefully that takes care of everything. Will it? And it does. Defeated. Look at that. My Pokemon are pretty awesome right there. And uh, <laughs> she's like, she starts laughing and she's saying, ouch. This guy's like, wow. Wow. These people. Okay, so I gotta heal my Pokemon right now. Um. Where is that healing item that I needed? Um, there we go. Max Potion and a Raphael. To the rescue right now. And... Uh, Alright, we're going to be switching it up. Let's go with Shroom Lee right here. And we're going to be moving on right here. That's right. No avoiding battles right here. And, uh, ooh, okay. So, let's go right here and... Uh, hmm. So, we're just going to press... Press left, right, and all that fun stuff. So here we go. Left, right, move, left, left, right, move, and move, and there we go. As you can see, 
Easy. Easy. And would you look at that? Now it's all smoky in here, and we all know where this is going to lead to. So now we made it through everywhere. Um, and look at that. We found a TM26 Earthquake, a very useful move. And I might teach that to my uh, to my Swamp Lord right here. And uh, well, we're going down the levels right here, and uh, nothing's going on. It's just smoky. Very, very smoky. How is it smoky? I don't know. So, as you can see, there's a legendary Pokemon right there. And once we get to the front, Archie's like, hold it right there. Hmm. Foo -foo -foo -foo. So it was you after all. Behold. See how beautiful it is? The sleeping form of an ancient Pokemon, Kyogre. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. And I love this song. I really do. I love the, the, the Oraz version. It makes makes it like so much interesting. So here we go. Another battle against Aqua Leader Archie. He thinks he's so tough because he's wearing that fine suit of his. But I got Shroom Lee right here. About to kick some candy ass right now. So here we go. Sky Uppercut. For the fatality. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there goes Mightyena. Defeated. Perfect or uh, flawless victory. And look at that. Level 43. And uh, this guy's going to be coming out with his Crobat. So I'm going to go with another Pokemon right here. I'm going to go with Guy of the Fierce Knight. He has no chance, guys. Literally no chance. My Pokemon are indestructible. Very indestructible. And. There's Crobat, and uh, Crobat's using his aura. I have traced the inner focus of Crobat, but here we go with the Psychic, and oh god, completely forgot, Crobat's faster. Very, very fast. And, uh... Alright, I'm gonna use that Confuse, and I'm gonna use that Psychic. That's right, double the attack, double the damage. Bye bye Crobat. That's right, no more Crobat right there. And Raphael grows to level 42, which is good. And, uh, alrighty, he's gonna come out with his Sharpedo right here. So, I'm gonna go straight back to Shroomly because he is the man. He is the legend. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a female, right? Yeah, she is the legend. She's, she, wow. I, I, wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shroomly. So, here we go. Sky Uppercut for the win. Oh, crud. Oh crap, so this swagger attack is uh, gonna mess me up a little because, you know, it sharply raises my attack, but it confuses me, but, extremely right here, it's not gonna stay confused because he can do, oh crud. So I'm gonna get confused and I'm gonna get hurt real badly. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go with the full heal. Here we go, full heal. Shroomly became healthy. And uh, there's that slash attack. And you know what? I'm gonna go, oh crud. Oh wait, there's the Giga Drain. There we go. And this guy's going with a taunt. Really? You're going to taunt me? You a-hole. So here we go. Giga Drain. That's right. I'm going to kill my Pokemon without even using a healing item. Look at that. Sharpedo nearly dwindled all the way down in the crud. So he's going to be using a Super Potion, which is good. It's all right. You know what? I can still I can still drain more of his HP. So here we go. Giga Drain. Hopefully for the win. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. That's right. Say goodbye to Sharpedo. No more Sharpedo. And uh, look at that. My Pokemon defeated Archie, and he's like, What? I lost to a mere child like you? You kind of lost to me before, I think. I don't know. I could. I don't remember. He's like, Foo 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 foo. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. Who cried? The red orb suddenly began shining in itself, by itself, I think. And as you can see, oh god, that red orb is uh, waking up some Pokemon right there. And oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, that Pokemon looks pretty pissed off right now. Oh crud, oh shit. And he disappears somehow. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb... Where did Kyogre go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily? Good, that that should uh, have happened. That is why we awaken Kyogre, to realize Team Aqua's vision of explain, expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger. That can't be. That's not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. 
The Red Ogre is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? And uh, look at that. It's Maxi. Hey, what's up, Maxi? How you doing? Uh, still not sore from that loss that you took? That's right. What have you wrought? You finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in, the, in, the, in a deepening in the sea. What? What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. That wasn't you, Team Magma, that uh, infuriated Groudon. So as long as I... Or wait. So long as I have the red orb, I should be able to control Kyogre. Should be able to control it? We don't have time to argue about this here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if you... Uh, wait, wait, what, what is that? What is that? Oh, yeah. See if you, you've wrought is the <laughs> world... What the hell, man? Like, these people, like... Man, they, they're making it hard for me to, like, read and stuff. So see if... what Or see if what you've wrought... What is rot? Seriously. Comment down below. Definition and all that stuff. Is the world that we desired. Oh, crud. Draven, come on. You have to get out here, too. And once we get out, as you can see, it is pouring. It is pouring, and, uh, well, Archie's just in confusion. He's like, what happened? What is the, what is the, what is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I... I only wanted, yeah, you only wanted, and as you can see, look, look, look at that, like, it's, it's sunny, and then it's rainy, it is crazy. Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? Um, it's your, kind of, it's your dream too, asshole. It's your dream too. We have to hurry, we have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Draven, don't say anything. I know what I have to, uh, I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. But the way things are now, I doubt that the humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. Maxie's like, this defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon, their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Hmm. All right, so they're they're gone and. Right before we can do anything, we can't even move on and- Whoa! Hold it! Hold it right there. Look at that. It's Steven. Holy crap. Draven! What is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat uh, wave ended, this deluge began. If this doesn't stop, all of Hoenn- No! The whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing in arguing right now in arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. Draven, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Okay. Alrighty, so, uh, huh, hmm, yeah, about that. Okay, so the weather is going crazy right now. As you can see, it's raining really crazy and it's uh, sunny really, really crazy. Yeah, um, if that made any sense. So our next destination is uh, Sutopolis City, and uh, this is where the legendary thing starts happening a little bit more. So stay tuned, guys. In the next ep ep episode, we're going to be going to Sutopolis City. I hope you guys are ready for this one because it's going to get fun. It's going to get real, real fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>